Hello, today we're going to be testing the Max Tracker satellite meter by Orbital Tracker on the Dish Network 500 satellite dish. The dish has already been pointed. The mass is perfectly aligned, perfectly level, and I basically took the dish off skew, but I wanted to show you a screenshot of how the meter reacts to the satellite uh, signal. It locks onto the satellite signal. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn on the, I have the, you have the option of turning on the alarm, the proximity alarm, which is this button here. You just hold that down for a little second. You start beeping there. And as you get closer to the signal, you'll see that it's in search mode right now. It's a Dish 500 dish, and you can see the file name is Dish 500. So when you download it to the meter, from the hundreds of files you can download, it'll self-explanatory, Dish 500. Dish 500 file. And you can see here we're looking at the 110 file for Dish, Dish Network. Um, you could also create any any type of uh, satellite uh, file for the meter and you could custom the, any customize any type of setting, any frequency, symbol rate, and you could download it directly to the meter and uh, you can use it for different types of satellite dishes. So I'm going to go ahead and begin my search. I'm going to start scanning. I'm actually grabbing the dish with uh, my other hand here and I'm actually pulling it and you'll see how the meter will start to react. You see there? As you can see, the quality bar has been peaked out. And I'm going to take it off alignment again so you can see the screenshot. It's in search mode right there. There you go. It's peaked out. You can see you're close there. And as you as you fine-tune the dish, you can see that that quality bar will go from 40 to 60, and you just want to get it right at 100. There you go. Another thing to mention is on the multi-sat uh, satellite dishes that have more than one LMB integrated into them, like this Dish Network 500. Let me turn on the uh, alarm there. On the uh, multi-sat dishes that have more than one LMB to them, it, in some cases, in most cases for the US type satellite dishes, you will uh, be required to use a power passing splitter that you would hook up to a, an external power source of 12, volt or 12 volts, or you can hook it right up to the receiver. Uh, this basically acts as a bypass and basically just powers the LMB with the power from the either the external power pack or the satellite receiver. Uh, they do come free with the Max Tracker, so when you're doing these big multi-sats, uh, instead of eating up the battery in the meter, you'd use one of these on uh, DirecTV, SL5, Dish Network 500, 1000, 1000.4 dishes. Uh, we do require that uh, you use these, these uh, simple little power passing splitter. Um, you can see there, it's, it's very simple. This is the 110 file here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over to the 119 file. And you can see that that little number is going to change. See that the 119 file? We're on it because once once you get one satellite to lock on on these multi sets, the other ones are pretty much in line. It's just a matter of fine tuning. You know, what I'm going to do now is take uh, take it off alignment, and put it back on. You can see how it reacts to the 119 file. There you go. Uh, if you look at the LMB here for a second, you see that it says here 119. Uh, this particular LMB has got two, 119 and 110. Um, you actually hook it up to different ports on the LMB to be specific on what LMB you want to target if you wanted to. Uh, these have built-in dissect controls, so it actually uh, it'll switch over to the dissect to the uh, 110 or the 119. So that's a wrap. Uh, dish Network 500 satellite dish with the Max Tracker.